Chef Buck here and today I'm going to make some biscotti. This is a coffee biscotti and I do not recommend this if you're trying to lose weight. But are your taste buds happy? My taste buds are happy but my waistline is not. This looks chocolate. You know we have a chocolate biscotti recipe and this looks very chocolatey but it's actually coffee. This is a coffee flavored biscotti and that's what we're making today. You know these are like a twice baked treat so the moisture has been eradicated. These things are construction worthy. You could frame out a house if you had big enough biscotti, at least until the first rain. But these are the dentist's best friend. If you're not dunking your biscotti, you're taking a chance. We're gonna start off with some eggs. I've got three eggs. This is a very eggy recipe. So we'll give these a super duper whisk. And now we're gonna add in our flavors. Flavor, flavor! I'm gonna throw in a couple of teaspoons of vanilla. Maybe a little bit more, but that's all right. You can never have too much vanilla. And if you had some almond extract, you could throw that in there. But I got quite a little bit of liquor. So I'm gonna throw some liquor in here. I got some rum. It's almost gone because uh, I keep it on the low shelf where camera girl can reach it, which is never a good idea. Hey. So we'll do, we'll do two tablespoons. That's good spiced rum. Oh, you're, well, you know, it's what we it. got. It's what we got, buddy. And then I'm gonna throw in some frangelica. You know, this is a nice flavor flavor. And like I said, if you don't if you don't want to use this liquor, you know, just up your vanilla extract. Throw you some extra almond extract in there. But I tell you what, having a little bit of liquor in your biscotti is muy fantastica. So I'll throw in a heaping tablespoon of frangelica. And this is kind of like a hazelnut liqueur. Man, I tell you, I have gone through that this week. I don't think you're you're gonna be able to tell. Holy cow, I think I only got enough in there for one more recipe. Now I'm gonna throw in some instant coffee, you know, and that's what's going to give our biscotti a uh, nice coffee flavor and kind of a little coffee buzz. So if you're having coffee biscotti with actual coffee, uh, you might become an annoying person after a little bit. Oh, that's the reason. <laughs> that's the reason I've been so annoying this week. Let me get another teaspoon out here and we'll put in four heaping teaspoons of instant coffee. That is a lot of flavor flavor. That is. But we could even go a little bit more. Oh! Just so that I'm extra annoying. Now we'll get this all mixed up. You want to give it a super duper whiskey whisk and try to get that coffee dissolved. So that's pretty mixed up, pretty smooth, pretty groovy smooth. So now the last thing I'm going to add to my wet ingredients is my sugar. And I'm just using some plain white sugar here. Sugar, sugar. Do, 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 do. So we got it all nice and dissolved. So now we'll throw our dry ingredients together. I've got about two and a quarter cup of flour right here. And to that I'm going to add just a dibble dabble of salt. And then I got some baking powder. And I'm going to do one teaspoon of baking powder. So now I'll take my dry ingredients and I'll just throw them in here with my wet ingredients. All at once, you know, I don't have any kind of procedure. And now I'm gonna get it all mixed together. Are you gonna be gentle with this batter? No, I'm just, I'm just mixing away until it is all mixed together super duper well. In fact, once I get it to this consistency right here where it's a little bit lumpy, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my nuts. And I've just got some toasted almond slivers. And even though we are baking this dish twice, these almonds have already been toasted. And you can use just almond slices or you can use these slivers. I prefer the slivers to the little thin slices of almond. The slivers give you more texture. You're getting quite a workout, Buck. Yep, I am. I'm at the Biscotti Gym where the more you work out, the heavier you get. Let me get my little doohickey over here, our little baking sheet. And I've just got some parchment paper on here. And I'm just going to roll my batter out onto my parchment paper. I'm just going to awkwardly roll <laughs> my batter out onto my parchment paper. Now I'm just going to spread it out into a little loafy loaf. Now you could just put two cups of batter two cups of flour into your batter and that will work as well. But then your batter will be a little more liquidy and it'll spread out a little thinner, but it'll still work. 
So there's my little biscotti loafy loaf. Now I've got my oven preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we'll slide it in here and we'll let it bake away for 30 minutes. Two, one. All right, so it has been 30 minutes. So let's take a looky look. It's gone puffy puff. Ooh. A little puffier than I like. We're gonna have some fat biscotti. But that's all righty. Now we're not gonna do anything with it. I'm gonna let this sit and cool for 15 minutes. Come over here, camera girl. It smells good over Come here. Come over here, buddy. Over but it here. smells good over here. I'm going to take the oven, which is at 350, and I am going to change it to 300. So we're gonna lower our temperature to 300, and we're gonna let this sit for 15 minutes. And then we're going to do other stuff. Maybe just bake it again? Maybe just bake it again. So now we've allowed this to cool for 15 minutes. It's gonna be a little easier to handle. So I'll take it off my parchment paper here. Let's see the bottom. Boom. And we're gonna bake it a few more times, but now I'm going to slice it into some biscotti shapes. And you wanna do it about a quarter of an inch thick, maybe a half inch thick at the most, depending on how much biscotti you wanna handle. Oh, we want to handle a lot of biscotti. Now we'll lay it back out on our parchment paper. It really has a terrific coffee smell. So I got my biscotti sliced and laid out. Now I'm going to slide it in the oven. And remember, I got my oven at 300 degrees now. I'm going to let it bake away for 15 minutes. Let me get him out of the oven here. And we're gonna give them a flippy flip onto the other side. And if you like them a little softer, you could cheat. Just let them be finished now. They're still pretty dry. Yeah. Camber Girl is all for not baking them anymore. She doesn't want biscotti, she just wants a cookie. No, I want biscotti, but not ones that'll break my teeth. Biscotti isn't done until it's hard as a rock. Mm -hmm. So now I flipped it over. I'm going to slide it back in the oven, and I'm going to let it bake away for another 10 more minutes. So that's the final go-round. So we'll put them on a rack, let them do their final cooling. They're hotty hot, so you might want to be careful handling them. I can handle it because I'm such an insensitive person. <laughs> Looks like I get another batch of biscotti to eat. Camera Girl hasn't really been helping me eat the biscotti, because she doesn't like them rock hard like this. She would rather I stopped you know, and not bake them as long so they'd be more like cookies. No, I like biscotti. No, you don't. You oh don't like biscotti because gosh. you wouldn't be giving me a hard time for baking them so hard because biscotti is an Italian word that means go to the dentist. Learn something new every day yeah. or not. So that's it. Our biscotti are twice baked, baked away. Now they'll cool down, they'll get even a little harder, and they'll go fantastico when dunked in a cup of coffee. Alrighty, well I got two batches of biscotti to choose from. And you can see this one's darker. I put more coffee in this particular recipe. And I may have baked these a little bit longer too. But these, when I got them out of the oven, they were so long. I had to cut them in half just to make them easier to store. But they're hard as a rock. And they're perfect for dunking. <laughs> That's a good way to start the morning. Now I gotta kick some butt on the backgammon board. Don't talk with your mouth full, boy. Coffee, biscotti, and backgammon. It's a good way to start the day. But if you want to give this biscotti recipe a try, you know, head on over to myfoodchannel.com. Print all our recipes over there. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and we'll see you in the future. Bye bye. I will conquer.